A state lawmaker says he is pushing a bill to improve math scores in public schools. The idea is to require summer school or tutoring for students who score poorly on that portion. Our Michael Warwick breaks it down. After years of stagnant math scores, Representative Scott Sapicki says something had to be done to make sure students are set up for success. Told by colleges and universities that many high school graduates are showing up behind in math. Republican state lawmaker Scott Sapicki has a new proposal requiring K through 8 students to go to summer school or get a tutor if they score poorly on the math portion of the TCAP. If you can't read and do math on grade level, how are you going to be successful in this world? In any field you want to pick. Sapicki says no student will be held back if they score under the benchmark on the math test. A stark difference from the third grade retention law that went into effect this year, which put students in jeopardy of repeating third grade if they didn't score well on the reading portion of the test. Teacher of 15 years and now full-time mom, Teresa Barriente, says the pressure of standardized testing has become too much. A third grader and even, even a middle schooler should not have the stress that's involved in testing. And I know for the teachers, it's also stressful. But Sapicki argues this bill will increase statewide math skills. TCAP data shows last year only 30% of Tennessee students met expectations in math. Let's not treat testing negatively. This is a way for you to show us that you know, to, sh to be able to prove to us and be proud of that, yes, I can answer these questions, because when you get into the next grade level, you're going to do the same thing. Teresa isn't as convinced. She says standardized testing is part of the reason she intends to homeschool. I think that standardized testing can really take the joy out of learning, and both for teachers and students and parents, and I think it brings unnecessary stress to the joy of learning. Sapicki's plan is to introduce the new bill when regular session gets underway in January. Michael Warwick, WSMV4.